Midnight arrests and an airport strip tease put these country progeny on the wrong side of the law. With all this roughhousing, celebrating a family arrest with handcuffs shouldn't come as a surprise. Billy Ray Cyrus shot to fame in the 90s with his iconic mullet and hits like Achy Breaky Heart and Could Have Been Me. And while his most famous child is, of course, Miley Cyrus, the artist actually has six children. Most of them are trying to make their own way in show business, including adopted son Trace Cyrus. Trace found fame as a singer and guitarist for the band Metro Station and has been known to garner attention, and not only because of his vocals or his decorated upper body. According to a Details interview in 2009, Trace has no problem speaking his mind about other artists. Of the Jonas Brothers, he said, "...those guys can't live their lives freely. They have to put out this image that's totally fake." Apparently, his own band isn't even off-limits. TMZ reported in 2010 that Trace ended up in a lawsuit with his bandmates after allegedly announcing the breakup of the band without speaking to the others first. It was also reported he was badmouthing them on Twitter. In August of 2019, the singer shared on his Instagram that he was 30 days alcohol-free, confirming that he'd had alcohol issues in the past. And apparently, it was a long time coming based on another post two months later which read, "...to all of you that have supported me since I was a wild, emotional teen till now, I truly thank you sticking with me as I grow and find myself." Alan Jackson is a Grammy-winning singer and songwriter who has sold millions of records over the span of his 30-plus years career. In 1979, he married his high school sweetheart, and the couple had three daughters together before separating in 1998 and then later reconciling. Probably one of his greatest honors was being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2017. But all the success and accolades couldn't shield his family from the real-life consequences of poor choices. During a 2013 traffic stop, Jackson's middle child, Alexandra, made a bad situation worse when she and the driver she was with were pulled over for speeding. As per CNN, Alexandra, who was only 20 at the time, was under the influence of alcohol and assaulted the officer, resulting in her arrest and is facing three other serious charges for her alleged behavior and for allegedly trying to drop her father's name to get out of the situation. It appears, though, that Alexandra learned her lesson and got herself on the right track. Johnny Cash was a stone-cold country music icon. He died in 2003, leaving behind a legacy of music and memories. Cash had five children, one of which was from his second marriage to June Carter, John Carter Cash. The twice-divorced Carter Cash has followed in his parents' musical footsteps and generally presents a wholesome image. But in 2014, he had a misstep. According to Billboard, police were called to an airport in Newfoundland, Canada, when Carter Cash began stripping to his underwear and disturbing the peace at the airport. Police on scene surmised he was either drunk or having some sort of personal or medical crisis. Carter Cash apparently never gave an explanation for his behavior, and the incident disappeared into his past. Two years later, the Grammy winner married again to singer Anna Christina, and the couple had two children together. There's not many people in the world who haven't heard of Elvis Presley, but fewer people know that his daughter Lisa Marie was reportedly a huge part of his life and inspiration. Despite her father's adoration, it appears losing him at a young age affected her life. She's had four husbands, four children, and at least one tough custody battle. In addition, according to SCMP, she's struggling financially, even after being handed the reins to Elvis Presley's financial estate. A 2019 People article revealed that Lisa Marie had struggled with addiction to prescription painkillers in the past, and though she tried to keep her struggles private, the information came out during her divorce. I'm not perfect. My father wasn't perfect. No one's perfect. You know, and, and it's what do you do with it after you learn and then you try and help others with it. Tragically, Lisa Marie lost her son Benjamin in 2020. As she told People, her daughters were a huge support for her, as she knew she wanted to stay strong for them. Lisa Marie also urged others who are suffering to seek support groups. Legendary musician Hank Williams died at the young age of 29, leaving behind his groundbreaking songs and two children, both of whom would also go on to become country music singers. Jet Williams didn't have the most secure start in life, having never even met her father. He died mere days before her birth, 
her biography. In fact, she didn't even know Hank Williams was her father until decades after his death. Thankfully, she was able to find her true identity, then debuted as a professional singer in 1989. Unfortunately, things took a turn in 2014 when the singer was arrested for driving under the influence. According to Taste of Country, officers spotted her car swerving between lanes at around 2.30 in the morning. Not only did she admit she'd been drinking, but she failed the sobriety test. She was arrested a second time only three months later for another DUI, per Saving Country Music. This time, Williams refused the sobriety test. Willie Nelson has been one of the most recognized country singers in the world for decades. He also has a reputation for being quite the rebel, including being arrested for possession of marijuana and having the IRS after him for unpaid taxes. According to Country Thang Daily, the singer has been married four times and has eight children, one of which he only found out about in 2012. Paula Nelson is Willie Nelson's daughter with third wife Connie Kepke, though Paula was born before they were married and while Nelson was married to second wife. When Paula was young, she went on tour with her famous father, and in 2013, father and daughter sang Have You Ever Seen the Rain together. Unfortunately, singing wasn't the only thing Paula picked up from her dad. When Paula was pulled over in a routine traffic stop in 2014, police found pot in her possession. According to Saving Country Music, Willie Nelson had been pulled over two years prior on the same day. Though that's not as much coincidence as one would think, since it was April 20th. Paula was released on bond, and the incident didn't seem to have much of an effect on her career. In 2015, she won the Country Music Association of Texas Female Artist of the Year. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.